Hi, I'm Camille from Pareto Education and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be speaking about joint pain histories. It's a very, very important history, so be sure to like, subscribe and comment on the bell icon to keep in the loop of more awesome content. Joint pain is an extremely common presentation and today we'll be speaking about arthritis. Broadly speaking, there are two main types of arthritis inflammatory arthritis and mechanical or osteoarthritis. The key component of a joint pain history is to differentiate the type of arthritis you're dealing with. This will determine the investigations and ultimately the treatment plan you recommend. Be sure to explore the following features. Morning stiffness, lasting more than 30 minutes. Joint swelling, warmth and redness. If there are symmetrical joints involved, if there are any systemic symptoms such as fatigue or weight loss, and other things such as fever, rashes, and weight loss. Has the patient been involved in any recent trauma? And be sure to ascertain the impact of their painful joints on their daily activities. Be careful not to miss emergencies such as septic arthritis. As part of your history, you should inquire about any rapidly worsening pain, significant joint swelling, and fever and rigors. Septic arthritis is actually an emergency, and these patients need immediate referral to hospital. If you think you're dealing with an inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid, you might decide to order investigations such as blood tests. These may include an ESR check, CRP, and also autoantibodies like rheumatoid factor. If you're thinking about osteoarthritis, should you consider an x-ray of the joints affected? Be systematic and thorough in your history and the diagnosis will become clearer. So that's a short summary and we'll see a history in action now. Hi, my name is Camille, I'm one of the ACPs of the practice. Can I just confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, I'm uh, John Bradbury and I'm 36 years old. Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you too. So tell me, how can I help you today? I've got really painful joints and uh, they've been painful for quite some time and my, uh, my partner told me to come see you. Okay, we can certainly help you with that. Tell me a little bit more about this. So pain is the main symptom? Pain, soreness, stiffness. I, you know, I'm struggling to use my hands and they're really important for work. Okay, and what is it that you do? I'm a joiner. Okay, must be very important then, of course. No doubt. So tell me, is it mainly the hands, the joints in the hands? Yeah, it's, it's the joints in the hands. My knees are really sore as well. It's just constant grumbling pain. Elbows, shoulders, hips? No, not that I've noticed with those joints mm. and those areas, but it's mainly both my knees and my fingers. The fingers, okay, and the wrists. And when you say pain, is it, does it stop you from moving them? Is it worse on movement? How, what's the pain like? It's weird because the day starts off with quite bad pain, but then as the day goes on, I feel like it gets better. Okay, interesting. So is that something that you've noticed from the start? Pretty much. Okay. And is it both hands that are affected? Both hands. Any joint in particular? I mean, both wrists are really sore. I mm. feel like they're swollen sometimes. Mm. They're not particularly swollen today. And it's just kind of these, these joints here, just these joints around here. And what about the actual finger joints? They're not that bad. Mm. Fingers are fine. But because it's the wrist and these joints, it feels like the whole hand is, is painful. And you mentioned some swelling as well. Have you noticed this swelling? I mean, you say in the wrists, in the hands at all, or the fingers? In the hands, around the knuckles, mainly, okay. and my wrists, and even sometimes my knees. Okay. And what about redness? Have you noticed any redness at all? My knees get a little bit hot. Yeah. So do my wrists. They get, you know, red, hot. Hot as well? Hot as well, yeah. No, I mean, I want to say burning or boiling hot. I'll just say, you know, just a little bit warm. Okay. And is that, again, typically in the mornings? That's right. And during the end of the day, are you able to move around your normally? Is there no pain at all or still a bit of residual pain? I wouldn't say normal. Mm. I'd probably say, you know, I'm much better, but mm. definitely not normal. Okay. And was there anything that precipitated this, any event? Or was it just gradual in the last couple of months? Or how have you noticed it? I think it's just gra gradual. I mean, you know, I kind of put it down to my job because obviously I'm, I'm always drilling, hammering, measuring. And obviously I know about, you know, wear and tear. Or maybe it's wear and tear. Mm. But then I'm not very old. I'm only 36 mm. years old. So I just thought I'd come in. Do you wear them the personal protective equipment that's offered for your knee pads, you know, gloves, etc. I mean, I try to, I don't, I can't say that I always do, no. but I try my best to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And when you say, you know, the pain, does it stop you actually using your hands? It does, you know, like when I wake up in the morning, my hands, I bend my fingers and my wrist, mm. they're so stiff. So in the morning, I, I can't really do much. I can't even do the buttons on my jacket. And how long does it take for that to settle down? About. 30 minutes, 45 minutes maybe. Okay, all right. So tell me about pain relief. Are you using any pain relief at the moment? Well, 
I kind of use paracetamol. I do use ibuprofen as well. Um, I have to say ibuprofen really helps. I feel like it takes the edge away quite massively. I've never really been one that believes in pain medication that much, but ibuprofen has done really well for me. And how many times are you taking that a week or a day? I just take one tablet, maybe twice a day. Okay, fine. Have you noticed any of your fingers becoming sort of cold? You know, the whiteness of the tip of the finger, particularly when it's cold. Oh, definitely. That's really bothering me because it's now cold, isn't it? So mm. when I'm outside doing work, I do wear gloves, but even despite the gloves, it's so painful, mm. especially this finger here. And um, it gets really pale. And then the color comes back eventually, but even that's really painful. Okay. I wonder if they're linked really. Well, possibly we can definitely check you out for that as well. All right. Have you noticed any skin changes generally, any of your, on your body, on your legs, on your hands, anything like that? No, nothing like that. Okay, brilliant. And what about your nails? Have you uh, noticed any change in your nails? No, no, nails look all normal. Okay, fine. And how are you in yourself? Do you feel normal in yourself? Lack of energy? Tiredness? I feel a bit tired. I feel a bit rinsed out. Okay. Uh, I do work a busy job and I've got lots of jobs on, but more so than usual. And how's your things like appetite, weight? They're fine. All right, no change in that. All right. When you're saying about extra symptoms, have you had any eye changes? No. No eyesight changes, nothing like that. You're not because you wear glasses, but no change in your eyesight? No pain, no changes, nothing. No dryness, anything like that? No. And any changes in your bowel or a bladder frequency or no. routine? Okay, brilliant. So we'll talk about your past medical history, if that's okay. What are your long-term medical conditions? I don't have any. I'm feeling well, thankfully. Okay. So you've not had any recent surgeries, anything like that? Are you on any medications regular? No, just the ibuprofen that I told you. And the paracetamol as well. Are you allergic to anything? No. You said you worked as a joiner, is that right? That's right. And have you had to take any time off for this? Uh, no, not so far. Not time. Planning through it all. Okay, fine. And are you currently a smoker? I'm not a smoker, no. And do you drink any alcohol? I do, but not often. Maybe, you know, half a pint a week, maybe. All right, yes, okay. Socially? Socially. Fine. Do you have any conditions that kind of run in the family, any genetic? So, for example, things on your mum's side or your dad's side? Not really. I think mum and dad are, are quite well, actually. They look yeah. after themselves and their health is good. Okay. Any siblings that have any long-term medical conditions? Not really. No. All right, fine. Anything you're worried about in particular? I mean, I'm worried that this is wear and tear or like, you know, I think arthritis is what you call it. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm quite young and I shouldn't be having pain like this and stiffness and I wonder what it could be. Mm, right. Have you spoken to anyone else about these worries? I know no, your wife. as well. Aside from my partner, you're the first really. Okay. So I'd like to do some tests as well. I'd like to examine your hands and your knees as well. But from presenting what you've had these, with these symptoms, especially at this age, I'd like to do some blood tests as well. Okay. What, what are you going to look for? So just looking for inflammatory conditions. So you're right, thinking along the lines of arthritis. I know you've got a job that does rely on your hands and knees quite often, but still at this age, you wouldn't expect that degree of wear and tear. That's what I thought. So we'll get some blood tests just to see general level of inflammation in the body. And that can give us an indicator about a particular type of arthritis called rheumatoid arthritis. Right, I see. And so if you hold your hands out in front, I'd like to examine you because some of those characteristic signs of rheumatoid arthritis when there's certain slight deformities in the fingers as well. Okay. And that's one of the presentations as well. Sure. So I like to do blood tests, I like to examine you, and based on those findings, then we can think about a referral to some specialists as well. Okay, brilliant. So uh, at the moment, have you got any questions for me? No, nothing at all. So one thing I would like to tell you about is, you know, if the symptoms change and when to come back and uh, see me again. So if the symptoms change in particular, one particular joint becomes very swollen, very red, very warm to the touch. Could be any sort of joint on the finger, on the hand. That would warrant you to go to A&E straight away. Sure. Because this is a different type of arthritis, which can be caused due to infection rather than inflammation. Right, it sounds very scary though. Yeah, it's something where you would feel unwell in yourself potentially as well. Something called septic arthritis. Right. If those symptoms manifest, then you'd probably go to A&E straight away. Okay. So do you have any questions for me apart from that? No, you've been very comprehensive. So okay. we'll just wait for those blood tests and see where we go. Okay, brilliant. Thank you.